This is question 7 from paper 2 of the 2015 National 5 SQA Maths exam. Given a couple of fractions, they're algebraic fractions, got letters in them, and we're asked to divide them, find the answer and write it in its simplest form. So a couple of ways we can do this. We'll do the more conventional method first. So a fact you have to remember doing it this way is that if you're dividing by a fraction, then you can turn that second fraction upside down and multiply, invert the fraction and multiply. Now, why you do that, you don't know, but it can be proved that that's what you do. So if you're, first of all, if you've remembered that, then you can proceed with this method. Now, multiplying fractions, you multiply the two top lines, that's 5t times 2a squared, and the bottom two, s times t. And it's as well looking at the whole of the top line and seeing all the bits and pieces that we've got. We've got a 5, we've got a times t, we've got a 2, and we've got a times s squared, an s times an s. So that's all the factors on the top line. The two factors on the bottom line are s times t. Now you can divide top and bottom of a fraction by the same number. Let's divide top and bottom of this fraction by s. So s into s goes 1, s into s goes 1. We've cancelled a factor of s. Let's also divide top and bottom by t. t into t goes 1, t into t goes 1. So we've cancelled the factor t. Let's look at what we've got left in the top of this fraction. 5 times 2 is 10 times s. That's 10s. And on the bottom of the fraction, we have 1 times 1. Now, anything divided by 1 will just leave the thing the same. So 10s divided by 1 will be 10s. So simplified, this division gives us 10s. Now, there is another method, probably one you're unfamiliar with, but it's, it's useful, certainly when you, you go move forward into the next level of your work higher and so on. It's a, a rather powerful method of uh, simplifying something like this. You take the 5t over s and say, well, it's the top of a fraction because we're dividing that by t over 2s squared. So we're starting out with a fraction. And as we said before, we can divide top and bottom by the same number or multiply top and bottom by the same numbers. And we certainly, w this is a double-decker fraction, as it's called. We certainly want to get rid of this divide by s up here. So we would multiply the top of this fraction by s and we'd have to do the same to the bottom of the fraction. Now, on the bottom of this fraction here, we've got to divide by 2. So let's multiply by 2 to get rid of that. We have to do that in the top to balance the fraction. We've also got two factors of s that are multiple. We've got 2 times s times s. We've uh, got rid of one of these factors. So let's multiply by another s. And we have to balance the thing, multiply the whole fraction by s in the top to get rid of that second one. So let's see what we've done. We've basically got rid of this factor, s, and we're left with 5 times 2, which is 10, s times t. And on the bottom, we've got rid of all of this, We've got rid of the 2, we've got rid of one of the factors s, and we've got rid of the other factor s. So this disappears and we're left with t. We then look at this and say, well, why don't we divide top and bottom by t to get rid of this factor that appears both top and bottom of the fraction. So this disappears and we get left with 10s over 1, which is just 10s as before. 